In this short video, I'm going to take you through an overview of our um, Strata feature phones, like our IP and digital uh, 5000 series handsets. They have a, a range of features and benefits uh, that uh, we would talk about, uh, and we can talk about that in a, a lot more depth, particularly around the uh, cost of ownership, low maintenance costs. Our handsets have a 50 year um, failure rate, which obviously means that they're very, very solid and reliable and uh, will certainly outlast the existing phone system. And, and they've supported uh, many of our previous phone systems in a, a forwards backwards compatibility as well with customers who bought handsets in the late 90s still using them um, on the current systems, even if it is uh, offering sort of limited feature sets in that way. We've also got a, a lot of feature keys on, on the system. And uh, we provide a lot of uh, buttons already on the handsets as well. As you'll see now, we, we start looking closer at the handsets, whereas some manufacturers might uh, need you to program a feature key to be a redial button or a conference button. Um, we have those buttons already um, provided for, and therefore feature keys are available for what you need to use them for in addition to standard feature um, functionality. So on the left hand side you can see the DP5000 range, on the right hand side you can see the IP5000 range. The thing really from a, from a distance that's uh, important to note there is they look identical and they are identical in that way apart from there's a small IP phone or IP series it says bottom right hand corner of the IP ones. Other than that you couldn't really know the difference and that's quite useful in a hybrid environment where people might think so and so has got a better phone and all that sort of stuff. If someone needs an IP phone for hot desking capabilities or, um, or, or for the flexibility that it offers of them being able to move around the office without the need to uh, repatch each time then obviously IP could be a useful solution but in many businesses digital is still um, the preferred solution. A hybrid environment and uh, we've got the same feature sets available on digital as it is on um, on IP and that's the the key thing really to note is virtually all features are transferable between IP and digital and the one feature that isn't is hot desking is an IP function where you can log the handset off that particular uh, uh, DN and log it in as a new DN and it'll pull the feature set forward of that of that new DN particularly if you're using the larger screen uh, display handset bottom right hand corner there so loads of features there. I've, I've just highlighted a, a few, I think, in, in red there that are key. One of the key things is that all our buttons have a, a red green LED indication, uh, red for external, green for internal. That can be very useful, as can the red green LED at the top right hand corner, which flashes when you get a call coming through. So again, you know if it's an internal call versus an external call, and that can be very, very useful. Um, most of the other features there on the left hand side, fairly straightforward, fairly straightforward for you to work out what, what, what they are. On the right hand side, integrated headset interface, uh, it has an RJ11 connector on the back of uh, a phone and you can plug in uh, you know, most uh, standard headsets to that. Uh, Shiba itself doesn't sell headsets, there's, there's plenty of experts out there like uh, Plantronics and GNNet, Comstroke, Jabber and so on. Uh, so find a decent headset from those guys and uh, it'll plug uh, directly uh, into the RJ11 connector there. We have soft keys on the handset as well. Soft keys are very, very useful on display handsets because if you're in your voicemail, for example, they will jump to provide whatever menu key options are required for the feature that uh, you're involved with at the time. And it can save an awful lot of time and effort. It allows you to look up directory numbers, things like that. And then the last uh, point on the right hand side there, uh, built in gig and ethernet, uh, our, our 5051 series have 10 100 stroke thousand uh, bit switch in the base which also supports VLAN tagging so uh, if you've only got one point to the desk uh, you can VLAN off and provide gigabit over that so you're not slowing a PC down putting it through the handset uh, which you may do on, on some other systems. Uh, you do have a lower cost option that then strips out that gigabit switch and just makes it a 10 100 and that brings the cost down a bit on those. An overview of the whole range there on uh, on one slide and you can see obviously the, 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 the choice you've got. Top left hand corner is a digital, uh, we'd say a zero key or, but it's actually about one and a half key now. You get one feature key and you can reprogram one of the buttons to do something else if it's essential to have two programmable bu buttons actually on the um, on the handset. Then you're into a, a 10 button non-display as a paper insert. Paper inserts, uh, the template's available in Word off our website so you can just download it, uh, type in what you want, print it, cut it out and stick it in there and it's done. So it's a very, very simple, cost effective way of keeping the cost down and then you're into display handsets and as it goes across backlit display on the 5122 up in the top right hand corner and then large display on the 5130 and then we're into the IP handsets and you've got really a, an IP version of the digital handset. 
As far as operator positions are concerned, uh, we have really two options, the, the standard options. We have a Windows Operators Console, or WOC for short, and that enables PC control uh, of the call and uh, you know drag and drop type functionality as far as transferring calls and so on and far more visibility of uh, busy lamp field information are people on the phone are they on dnd what's going on but you also have in the um, graphical um, uh, example on the right hand side the traditional flatbed type of approach where you can have just a name and a, uh, and a light to show whether they're on the phone or not or on dnd it'll be all red and therefore you can see from that perspective whether they're on the phone or not whether you have one or the other or in some cases both for disaster recovery type uh, uh, requirements um, obviously then becomes personal choice of the customer and a quick look at the windows op console in uh, in in close up you can see there in the display underneath there all the key people in the organization and the uh, the first couple uh, ones on the phone i've one seven four there tony is not on the phone so it's available for a call and then uh, bob the fourth one down has a, a strike through over his name effectively that shows that uh, he's on dnd so uh, not available for a call may have a message set and we can look that up on the messages section you can see on the right hand side uh, tab there and we can look and see what that message might be away for a week all that sort of stuff would be there as well so <clears throat> it's a, a useful way walks are always about handling volumes of calls taking a call quickly getting rid of it taking the next one getting rid of that one flatbeds can do it but might be slightly longer in the the button press operations it depends how busy the operator is or how comfortable they are using a pc versus using a flatbed uh, and that ends this presentation thank you